Welcome back. Thanks for joining us on The Cafe. Not many actors can say they've played their previous character's grandmother in a hit television series. Westside's award-winning actor Antonia Preble can, and she joins us now on The Cafe. It is so good to have you here. Welcome, Antonia. Thank you. It's good to be here. Look, there's so much to discuss about this awesome TV show and your life personally, but before we go any further, let's have a look at a clip from Westside. Now, this mm -hmm. was aired on Sunday night, and it's a typical morning in the West household. It's uh, Saturday and the cops turn up. Let's have a look. Morning, Mr West. Mrs West. I've got to go to work. Yeah, you go, love. Well, this better be good on a Saturday morning. Just a couple of questions regarding an attempted robbery last night. He was here all night. He actually was. Oh, it's true. Boys, I was here all night, Constable. I just love the show. It's one of my favourites, actually. And I need to talk to you about the costuming because obviously all set in 1981. Yes. So there's some incredible costume designs, mm -hmm. isn't there? Do you have much input into what you get to wear? Um, yeah, I do, actually. Our wardrobe designer, Jandra, is fantastic and she's really open to collaboration. So we'll have a fitting and discuss what we both think could be good and if, if there's anything that I specifically want or anything that I specifically don't think works, then she's absolutely open to that. So what sort of things you say? Rita needs tighter tops because Rita wears very tight tops. Oh, she, yeah, often it is. I think we just need some more cleavage. <laughs> then, then, we're, then that often we go, oh yeah, that's right. Or well, something's not quite working. Oh, let's just pull the skirt up. There like, oh yeah. There that, you go. That's it. No, I'm yeah. taking great detailed notes on this because what I want to know because I'm going to a, a fancy dress party and it's an 80s theme so yeah. I'm going to go as Rita. Oh my I'm husband, honoured. My husband's going to go as Ted so I need to bully you afterwards and get yes. all of the details about what you wear. And Absolutely. You, do it. We can, you can definitely do it sort of tight, black, fierce, mullet, Lots of makeup. Okay, and, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I can do that. I can Always do that. Always having a cigarette, but don't smoke because that's bad. <laughs> 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 no, what, what do you think makes Kiwis love this show so much? Because it's been very successful. It's beautifully cast um, oh, and, you know, okay. really well done. But why do you think Kiwis have taken such a shine to it? Well, I think it's that thing of they recognise themselves and, like, what happened with Outrageous Fortune, people really saw the kind of true blue Kiwi experience and as a result of that took a lot of ownership over it and which was so gratifying for me because obviously I have a lot of investment in it I'm in it but when you see that the audience also feels like it's their show it's a wonderful mm. reciprocal thing so I think it's it's a similar thing it's, with it's funny that you actually say that because uh, when we had remember we had David Delator on us right. I told the same story you're gonna tell the same story again I haven't heard it um, I have a very personal <laughs> connection to the show because our car we've got a 74 Holden Kingswood premiere it featured in one of the background scenes. Did it? Yes, it did. Oh, screen grabbed that, isn't it? Yeah. So I part of it, and you yes. feel really stoked about that. Exactly. And yeah. I screen grabbed that, and I put it on Facebook. I, be, I bet you did. That's awesome. <laughs> you, must, you must drive that to the party that you're going to. Good there idea. Go. Good idea. Perfect. That is a really good yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about that role that you play. How do you immerse yourself in that character? Is there anything you do before you start shooting? Yeah, um, the, for me, the wardrobe and the makeup really helps. And yeah, it was, it was a tricky one finding Rita initially because uh, it turned out that the Rita that we see in Westside is very different to the one that was always talked about in Outrageous Fortune. So I did really have to start from scratch with her. Uh, but it's, it was, it's funny, actually, the first time I was like, there she is, was in the series, season one and I put on this pair of high-waisted uh, blue flared jeans and I don't know something in that just kind of popped and popped popped the whole thing in for me and then the final thing is when I put on the wig that right. really for me defines her I'm like Antonia 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 Rita <laughs> <laughs> and that goes on. What else are you up to at the moment obviously Westside is finished filming and you're the grand finale's on our screens on the 14th but what are you doing? Uh, well I'm actually uh, just about to head to Melbourne I'm going to be there for the next month uh, to six weeks doing a new TV pilot for a new show over there so. Is it one of these things that you can't tell us about right now? I probably can't actually. <laughs> what actors? I know it's like sign these annoying confidentiality agreements and I'll get sued. No, it's that old <laughs> <pretty thing. laughs> yeah but it, I'm really excited about it. It's um, a great bunch of people who I haven't worked with before so it'll be great. Now you are really brilliant at what you do. Is this something you always wanted to do as a kid? Yes it's weird. I'm a kind of a 
unusual example in that I've always known I wanted to be an actress, even from when I was about three. From my earliest memories, I just knew it was what I wanted to pursue and I, I didn't have any sort of idea of what that might be because I don't come from a, a theatrical background at all. Everyone in my family are lawyers, but from me. But I just had this kind of spark and this desire to perform from a very young age. So I proactive was very proactive in looking for auditions in local plays when I was a kid and then got my first TV job when I was 11 and just yeah, I kept going from there. And when you were growing up, who did you have on your walls, the pictures that you had on your walls? Oh, so many. Um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas oh, yeah. from Cute. Home Improvement, yeah. and then I was a big Dawson's Creek fan. Oh, nice. But I actually loved Shortland Street when I was a kid, and when Shortland Street had the magazine, yeah. I had oh, yeah, I did too. Teresa Healy on my wall, you know, who I've worked with. And, and, and she's so super cool, isn't she? Yeah, 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 yeah. Rachel McKenna. So, have you so ever been cool. in Shortland Street? No, never have. Does an act, we've got an actor on the show that's never been in Shortland Street. <laughs> yeah. I cannot believe it. That was weird. This it's is the weird. first time. I cannot yeah. believe it. Yeah. Hey, well, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Really, really looking forward to seeing the final of, well, seeing all the episodes of Westside. The final and fingers crossed for season three as well. I'm sure it's going to be a go because it is such a tremendous, tremendous show. So don't miss Antonia in the next episode of Westside. Sundays, 8.30, TV3.